right, everybody, welcome back. I'm so excited for this deep dive because we are talking about artificial suns. Artificial suns. Which is such a cool name, right? It is. <laughs> and, you know, we've been covering nuclear fusion for a while now. And, uh, you know, it feels like it's one of those things that's always just over the horizon. Yeah. You know, always just a few years away. Right. But um, I think there's some new stuff happening with China that is actually pretty exciting. Yeah, there's been some uh, some recent news coming out of China specifically with their uh, East Reactor. Yes. That's giving a lot of people in the field a reason to celebrate. Yes. And the, the big the big news is that they're hitting uh new records in terms of how long they can actually contain mm -hmm. this super hot plasma. Exactly. And that's really the challenge with fusion right now. Yeah. It's not just achieving fusion, which we've been able to do for a while now yeah. in small bursts, but it's sustaining it for long enough that it actually becomes useful. Right. That we can actually get some energy out of it. Right. Yeah. It's not just, you know, proof of concept. Yeah. So China's East Reactor, they just hit a record of holding that plasma steady for over a thousand seconds. Like, what does that even, I mean, a thousand seconds, sure, that sounds like a, a long time. It does. But is that really, is that really like a game changer? Well, it's definitely a step in the right direction. Okay. Um, you know, we're not talking about plugging our houses into fusion power just yet. Right. But it's important to understand the scale of what we're dealing with here. Okay. I mean, imagine trying to hold a miniature sun in your hands. Whoa, okay. That's essentially what scientists are doing with this superheated plasma. Wow. And the longer we can hold it stable, yeah. the closer we get to a controlled and sustained reaction right. that could actually generate usable amounts of power. Okay, so just backing up for a second just to make sure everyone is on the same page. Yeah. We're talking about nuclear fusion. Right. The process that powers the sun. Yes. So it's basically you're taking these light atoms. Yes. You're smashing them together and they're creating heavier atoms and that releases a ton of energy. It's yeah. But the thing is, obviously, we don't have the sun's massive gravity here on Earth right. to kind of create those conditions. Yeah. So how are scientists creating these extreme conditions? Well, that's where these incredible machines called tokamaks come in. Tokamaks. Tokamaks. Yeah. What is a tokamak? So picture a giant donut shaped chamber. OK. A donut. A donut. Yeah. Like donuts. Yeah. So this giant donut shaped chamber and it's lined with some of the most powerful magnets in the world. OK. And these magnets create a magnetic field that's so strong it can actually contain this plasma. Wow. Which has to be heated to temperatures hotter than the sun's core. Hotter than the sun's core. Hotter than the sun's core. Just let that sink in, folks. Yeah, it's pretty mind blowing. So that's what East is. That's right. This experimental, advanced, superconducting tokamak in China. Exactly. So they managed to hold this plasma steady yeah. for 1,066 seconds. Yes. So just so people can wrap their heads around it, that's almost 18 minutes. Which again, it's like, I don't know if that feels like a long time or a short time, huh. but in terms of previous attempts, what are we talking about here? So previous attempts, you know, we were talking about holding the plasma stable for maybe a few seconds or maybe a minute at most. Okay. So 18 minutes is a huge jump. Okay. I mean, it shows that we're getting better at controlling these incredibly volatile reactions, but it also highlights the sheer difficulty of what we're trying to achieve. So we're making progress. Absolutely. But we're still a long way from mission accomplished. Yeah, we're not there yet. So what are some of the other hurdles that scientists are facing when we're talking about trying to get to this point where we have these artificial suns that can actually provide us with clean energy? Well, one of the biggest challenges is achieving what's called ignition. 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 Okay. And this is like the holy grail of fusion research. Okay. This is when the fusion reaction produces enough energy to sustain itself oh, cool. without needing any external input. Okay, so like a chain reaction kind of. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. think of it like a campfire. Okay. You need kindling and constant attention to get it going. Yeah. But once it's burning hard enough, it can keep itself going. Okay, I gotcha. That's ignition. So East hasn't achieved ignition yet. Not yet. But this record brings us closer. It does. But China's not the only player in this game, are they? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, there's other countries that are also researching fusion and trying to, to achieve this breakthrough. Right. There are different approaches to achieving fusion as well. Okay. So, for example, the U.S. National Ignition Facility, they use a different method. Okay. They focus on these quick bursts of extremely high energy okay. rather than sustained plasma. Oh, so it's like two different approaches to the same goal. Exactly. And each has their own advantages and disadvantages. Right. And what about the ITER project? 
Ah, uh, yes, ITER. Which I remember is this international collaboration. It is. It's a huge collaboration. Their fusion research. Yeah, it stands for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. Wow. That's a mouthful. It is. And this is a massive undertaking. It is. It involves researchers from all over the world. Wow. They're building the world's largest tokamak in France. The world's largest tokamak. The world's largest in France. And what's their goal with that? Their goal is to achieve sustained fusion for research purposes. Okay, so not for power generation. Not yet, no. This is really about laying the groundwork okay. for future power plants. Wow, so like a global effort. Absolutely. For a truly global challenge. Yeah. It's pretty inspiring. It is. And it seems like China is really stepping up to the plate here. They are. Not just with East. Right. But also with their contributions to ITER. Yes. They've been heavily involved in ITER. And they've also expressed this strong commitment to sharing their knowledge and technology. They have. And that's really important. Yeah. Because the challenges of fusion are so immense. Right. No single country can really solve them alone. Yeah. So this kind of open collaboration could be the key to unlocking this incredible clean energy source. I mean, it's mind-blowing to think about the implications here. It is. I mean, if we could figure this out, you, it would revolutionize the world. It really would. But, you know, we're still probably decades away from seeing fusion power plants popping up everywhere. Yeah, that's the reality of it. Right. It's a long-term goal. Yeah. But it's a goal worth striving for. Absolutely. Yeah. So, you know, we've been talking a lot about the science here. We have. The technology. Yeah. But I think it's also important to think about the bigger picture. Absolutely. The societal implications. Right. So for you listening out there, I want you to think about this. Yeah. If and when fusion energy becomes a reality, how do you think it will change the world? That's the big question, isn't it? It is. I mean, will we finally break free from fossil fuels? Right. Will energy become cheaper? More accessible. More accessible to everyone? Yeah. Or will new challenges arise that we haven't even considered yet? It's a lot to think about. And I think that's what makes this topic so fascinating. Absolutely. So from international collaborations yeah. to the complexities of containing a miniature sun, right? this deep dive into fusion research has really opened my eyes to a future full of possibilities. It's an exciting field. It is. And I'm curious to hear what you think. Yeah. What innovations do you think are needed yes. to make fusion power a reality? What are your thoughts? Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for listening. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time. See you later.